Guys, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. I was reading through a label of this particular kind of disinfectant and I've just realized that it can also kill HIV and AIDS virus. My concern is how does it kill HIV and AIDS virus? I'm very eager to know about that. What do you think about this information? Kindly comment down below. We've started this video in this way because I was kind of like shocked. I didn't want you to miss out this. Anyway, guys, hi. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Welcome or welcome back to Sada Isla YouTube channel. If you're new here, karibu sana. Kindly consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Turn on the post notification bell so they can be the first one to receive our videos whenever we upload. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always clicking on our video. Thank you so much for your subscription. We don't take it for granted. As you can see, I want to show you today how to use a semi-automatic washing machine. It is semi-automatic because at one point, you'll be needed to remove clothes from one point to another through the process of washing. That is the label of this particular washing machine it gives you information about this washing machine including the energy it consumes when in use as you can see we have there a drum on the washing machine where you put your clothes to be washed we have uh, this part it is a spin tub where you hair dry your clothes we have these two holes at the end of the machine where you install your water pipe this one is not installed because it's not usually in use we have a wash timer we have a wash drain selector we have a spin timer and there is precaution on the spin timer whereby you are being told please keep total load of clothes in spin tub under 3.6 kg above 3.6 kg you'll be destroying the spin tub so guys this is how this washing machine looks like as i've told you water pipe has not been installed because it's not always being in use so we will use water from a different source add it on the washing machine so that you can proceed with our washing today so we have our water over there we will be washing today our kitchen towels that is our soap powder over there we have uh, clorox that is the disinfectant i was talking about that kills hiv and aids virus guys i was shocked on seeing that kindly comment what do you think about that information because i'm very eager to know how it kills hiv and aids virus there are so many other informations on the label this kind of uh, disinfectant is very good in uh, bleaching and also killing viruses as you can see uh it has been labeled and uh, you have also to take precaution when using uh, this particular kind of uh, disinfectant because it's good at the same time if you don't use it the correct way as it is required it will be very 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 bad for you it's uh, used on household it's used on uh, washing or laundry and it also has precaution that you must read before using this particular kind of disinfectant so uh-huh before adding water into the washing drum you need to confirm that the wash drain selector is on normal or heavy because if it's on a uh, drain you'll be adding water into the washing drum and water will be coming out normal part is when you want your clothes to be washed in a slow mode and the heavy part is when you have heavy clothes or extra dirty clothes and you'll want them to be washed in a quick mode so uh, you have to pour water into the washing drum then uh, add uh, your washing powder or uh, your washing soap or uh, what can we call it omo yeah add your omo over there and uh, you add your disinfectant in this case today we will be using clorox for our kitchen towels so that they can be disinfected and they can be bleached so that they can be as white as they were bought after adding everything on the water you'll have to start the washing machine so that the soap and the disinfectant can mix before you add 
your clothes or in this case before we add uh, the kitchen towel so if you want normal you'll put it on a normal mode so that it can be washed on a slow motion if you want it to be washed in a quick motion you'll be putting it in heavy mode so we will be putting our kitchen towels so that they can be washed as you can see guys So this particular kind of washing machine normally has two lids. One lid is uh, to cover the washing drum and the other lid for the spin tub. The one for washing drum was destroyed. Is it destroyed? I hope you understand what I mean. So this is the lid for this side. We will just place it there so that you can see the complete washing machine. So this is how uh, our washing machine looks like in complete. This is how when you go to buy this kind of washing machine, you buy it when it is in this manner. So uh, the first washing time is almost over. So if you like, you can repeat washing for the second time if your clothes are too dirty you can repeat for the second time for the sec uh, third time for the fourth time however much you'll want your clothes to be washed so for hours today we will be repeating it for the second time by simply rotating the wash timer back to 15 i'm not exactly sure how long it takes for the washing time to complete i've never been keen on that i've never taken note on that but uh, i think it's between 20 to 30 minutes for uh, first round clothes to complete washing so uh -huh. when it's complete as i've told you you can uh, restart it so that it can wash for the second time for the third time for the fourth time however much you want it to be washed and this is the advantage of using this particular kind of washing machine So guys, the second time wash is over once again and we want to put our kitchen towels on the spin tub. So this is the disadvantage of this washing machine because you'll have to go and remove again the clothes from the uh, washing drum to put them into the spin tub. So we'll be putting them into the spin tub so that it can release the soapy water, it can release the... Uh, uh, I mean the dirty water then we will have again to remove them from here and uh, rinse with the clean water and take them back again on the spin tub but if you connect your uh, your sorry your washing machine on the water source it's very easy you remove from uh, this side and put it on uh, the spin tub and immediately connect uh, water as uh, time goes by when it is spinning at uh, the same time the clothes are being rinsed but i don't trust on that process i trust on rinsing them on my own another disadvantage is that when you put the washed clothes into the spin tub you'll have to uh, split them each and every time because if the clothes are combined together they release that sound that you hear you put clothes then they don't spin in the correct manner 
they will not uh, spin so nice it will be removing such kind of sound so until you spill the clothes so that uh, it can split so well so um this is where the dirty water is being drained also we did not uh, connect the pipe into the drainage because as i've told you this washing machine is not normally in use yeah i hope you understand the process the same as the first uh, wash timer this one also you can uh, restart it however much you want however much you want your clothes to be dried you can restart it each and every time and however much you want your clothes to be dried so uh the clothes have been spin water is out of the clothes that water soapy water is out we'll have to rinse uh, the clothes and take them back again into the spin bin but as i've told you if you connect water source uh, on the washing machine it will be so easy you'll just open water and then it will spin as it rinse on its own Comment down below if this process has been useful to you. So this is the first uh, washing machine that uh, we will be showing you. The next video we will be showing you another washing machine. As you know, there are different types of washing machine. So on our channel, we will show you two different types of washing machine. Comment down below if this video have been of useful to you like our videos share our videos comment on our videos So on this type of washing machine, there are in two sizes, there is a smaller size and the bigger size. This one is the smaller size. On the smaller size, if you turn the wash drain selector into drain, the machine automatically stops washing. If you turn it into drain selector, the machine automatically stops washing. But on the bigger machine of the same brand, if you turn it into drain selector, the machine continues washing as usual. Unlike the smaller one, when you turn it into drain selector, the machine stops working. Our kitchen towels on the spin tub is almost ready as usual. You'll dry the clothes as much as you want. So ours for today is ready to be removed from the spin tub. Guys, thank you for watching today's video. Stay tuned for the next washing machine so that... Uh, you can have knowledge you who don't have knowledge of how to use a washing machine you can have knowledge through our video kindly comment down below share our videos 
like our videos so that it can be recommended to other viewers as i have told you stay tuned for the next part of a different kind of washing machine so as you can see our kitchen towels have been washed and dried with the help of our washing machine and they are also as white as they were bought thanks to the power of clorox thank you for watching until the end until next time bye